So we just talked with my aunt about um some of the stuff that we found out about getting uh, loaned to by the farm from her and she kind of likes what she hears and she's willing to move forward with the process and she's got peace of mind and we've got peace of mind in regards to us buying a buying the farm buying our farm it's it's a big big flipping deal <laughs> surreal we literally just got off the phone so that's the reason why I'm like, I got to turn on the camera. Like, we got to do something here because, like, we're kind of caught in the moment. So, really exciting. <laughs> so, today is uh, Monday, April 19th. And time to sign a lot of papers. Yep. We're going to be farmers next year, y'all. <laughs> we're, we're looking like to be farmers next year. The only downside to that is, is uh, now my family farm and mortgage and everything is on the line now if I screw up so I can really make sure my P's and Q's are straight. That's pretty much the story of every single farmer because, you know, they've got debt out on their land or a lot of people do and they got debt on their equipment and all that stuff like that. So I'm going to be learning in real time with the rest of everybody and hopefully making the right moves along the way. And I really hope my different way of thinking when it comes to farming and finances and stuff like that, I hope that as we learn and make good moves and probably some mistakes along the way that, you know, we can impact other people and farmers around us in a good way. We, you know, you guys are learning with us. That's, that's one of the big reasons I wanted to start this channel is, you know, we're doing something that's not exactly the same as what everybody else is doing, nor did I want to do it the same as everybody else. I was raised a different way and everything was paid for. So anyways, somebody's playing with my makeup. So I think uh, we're going to cut this clip short. We're going to the farm today. I want to measure um, the height of a loader tractor for a project that I'm going to see. You'll see more details on it because it's kind of hard to explain without showing you. But I'm going to measure how tall the loader tractor is and see how short I can make it to get it into a certain door. Alrighty, we're here at the farm. Going to measure the loader tractor. Get some measurements. We got to fit this thing into a pretty small space and we need to see if it'll fit. <laughs> we'll show you the small space too when we get to that point. We got our little helper over here. John Boy, are you doing a good job helping? Yeah, I'm under a tractor. Right yeah, you holding it? Yeah, I'm under a tractor. 87 and 100. Remember those numbers. Remember those numbers, John. 87 and 100. 40, 60, 90, 80. You're going to make him. <laughs> but Dad always needs me under a tractor. I was telling he you always that. needs you under the tractor? Yeah. Okay, so remember, 100 and 87. Okay? Can you remember that? No. Oh. You don't know much help. <laughs> Here is the terrible mess in this shop. We're going to have pulled the corn style. Uh, <laughs> Pull the corn star <laughs> style cleanup video. Yeah, we totally are, guys. It's looking right. rough in here. Look how much cleanup we have what to do. This stupid crap. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm so anxious looking at all of this. Where do you start? Start by freaking fixing this tape measure. Look at this crap. <laughs> Look at this. It won't go in. Start by fixing this tape measure. I can't just, oh, no, she went. There we go. <laughs> all right, come on. Time to head to the next place. Uh, we could probably take it in bite-sized chunks. I could take the loader tractor down to um, Port Sound. I get the wall knocked down first at like some point during next week, and then Saturday we could spend the day getting the headers out. So we're not trying to do it all in one day. Yep, that's probably wise. Because it's gonna take it's gonna take an hour or so just to get the loader tractor down there. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's stop and look at the beats. This is where our renter has planted sugar beets, and it's been a couple weeks now. Ooh, I should probably be mindful of where the rows are. So, let's see. This looks like a row right here. Let's look here. Sugar beets are pretty fragile, so you gotta be really careful when you look. Or at least the little ones. Not like a corn plant or a soybean that... Oh, there's a seed right there. There's a little seed. Looks like he hasn't even started yet. My guess is it's probably not quite enough moisture. 
which I mean there is moisture but not enough to break down the seed coat this place up here on the right this is actually where I grew up for the first oh, not quite half of my life but this is where my dad grew up and where my you know my grandpa and my grandma they raised my dad and my aunt here and they ran the farm out of the barn here it's a pretty small house but yep, our farmers ran out of that barn you know and they lived in the house and stuff like that we had 60 acres that would have stopped right at this telephone pole right there so it would have gone straight back a quarter mile and back you know half a mile the other direction i had the rights to do with that place what i wanted and it was kind of in rough shape so all of this before i got out of high school i decided uh I would sell that place to one of the neighbors who wanted to live there and uh, we decided that we were going to take that money and put it towards our first house. Our first house. So that isn't part of the family farm anymore even though that's where me and my dad grew up. This is the dairy farm where I spent a couple years working. It's owned by the same guy that you know I work for currently. I've worked for the same guy but he's got multiple farms. And this is the farm that I used to work at for a couple years. Mm. Somebody's burning the farm pile or something. It's really nice. Pulling in. That is the shed we're measuring right here. That one. So in here is where we have a bunch of old headers. So our old combine, uh, my grandpa had a corn header, a bean header, and a just regular straight cut platform, just a wheat header for it. Well, my grandpa didn't like the bean header for it, the, the flex head for whatever reason. And we didn't grow corn because he said it was too expensive. And Dawson, get your head back, please. And so he shoved them in here, but there's a caveat to him shoving those in here. If I can get this back. There we go. So, what? so Ooh, smells weird. there is the bean header, 15 foot cut, I do believe, because I measured hey, it last time I was here. Four row corn head, old New Holland four row corn head. That is the old, this is the old pickup header for our old Massey combine that we used to run back in the day. But if you look at how this barn is oriented, they put the heads in from that wall. They took out the bottom half of that wall and then they had a little Ford loader tractor that they used to drive the headers in here, plop them down, and then they just put the wall back up and just hodgepodge nailed it back up when they were done. Redneck ingenuity, I guess, but uh, kind of a pain in the butt to get anything in and out of here because you got freaking tear the wall down to get it out. Now, the other problem, well, John, don't be playing stuff I originally thought no, that I'd be no, able to fit no, headers. No, no, no. What I say? Guys, don't be hurting yourself. There. Yes, I crawled through there. Um, I thought I could get the stuff out of here, but that's just not quite wide enough. Might be able to get that header through there, but if I got to tear the wall out to get this header out, kind of pointless to try to fit it anything through that door our goal today is i want to measure this wall over here the height wise and i'll probably measure to the beams to see if i can even get the loader tractor if i could just drive the loader tractor all the way in and pick up that header without having to borrow somebody else's stuff i'm all about that um but yeah this thing's probably gonna have to come out too this is an old parts tractor that we had um, there's actually some parts that are probably still good on it that we could use, but, uh, seven foot. So we're a little bit short. We'll probably have to pop the air cleaner off. That's, hmm? that's convenient. Exactly seven foot. To the wrap. Move your, let go down. You're good. So they knocked out, if you look over there, there's a concrete wall. Mm-hmm. Um, like a half wall. Well, that's like yep. actually a center block. Um, that they uh, had all the way around it. But over here, they didn't have that. Over here, they had a little bit of something like that over on this side, on the other side of the header, which you can't see. They knocked all that cement out. And they knocked it right out by the floor. So Oh, the, yep. 
And so they... Uh, That's why the floor looks like junk. <laughs> so, in the big gap down here... I'll grab the phone from you. I'll show you. It's funny. Down there is where the cinder block wall would have been. And they knocked it out in order to get everything out. <laughs> so they just took the barn beam, put it down there, and then they nailed this wall here to the barn beam. So, yeah. So, I can take this. I'll show you. And it's barely held up. Like, it's just held up. The bottom half of the gable. So basically everything above this beam here is, I think, fair game. Probably take out a couple nails and a couple sledgehammers and a couple pulls with the loader tractor and that wall should just fall right out. Thank you guys for joining us today. We hope that you guys liked this video. We also hope that if you're one of those people who wanna to continue to follow us on our journey, that you would hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next one.